Well, Novik, we saw a surprise exit to Philip last week at Indian Wells, but you stayed on in California, reached the semi-finals and the doubles and continued practicing. I mean, how much did you enjoy that process and how good was it for you mentally after the earlier than expected exit in the singles? Well, I, you know, um, hoped that I could do better in singles, but um, I lost to a better player that day and um, had to deal with that. And I played doubles after that, reached semi-finals, which was nice. I don't get to play doubles that often. Um, I had a lot of practice between, uh, you know, uh, Australian Open and India Wells. Um, I continue practicing because when you're not playing, you have to practice and kind of get yourself, you know, uh, as closest to uh, the optimal level uh, of tennis that you want to be on. So uh, that's what I worked on in the last couple of days. And let's see if it works here in Miami. And we've got to talk about this spectacular arena behind you. Obviously not been here long, but what are your first impressions of, of Hard Rock Arena, the Hard Rock Stadium and this entire complex they've managed to build in one year? Well, I think you can see it and hear it, right? I mean, we are part of a very vibrant, uh, exciting uh, stadium. Miami Dolphins play here. I mean, it's, it's an NFL club and uh, I can only imagine how it looks when it's full. You know, it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a huge stadium. So it's, it was a very bold move. You know, we have a new tournament owner and uh, Key Biscayne is part of me that is a bit sad because Key Biscayne is uh, a historical venue, uh, venue that has hosted this tournament, is one of the best tournaments in the world, obviously one of the biggest ones in the world. It has hosted it for so many years, but we lack space and, and um, you know, we wanted to get it to another level and uh, I think uh, everyone in tennis who wishes well to, to the sport um, has, uh, has kind of, you know, desired to have a bit more space and just uh, you know, uh, explore some new options, I would say, that are, that are available for us. And uh, I don't think we expected this, but, uh, but it's, it's a nice surprise and it's a bold move. I think it was very courageous from organization to take it to a football stadium. They've done something that it wasn't done before. And, uh, you know, so they're pioneers in a way. Of course, six titles over at Crandon Park for yourself as well. I mean, why has this part of the world been so sort of successful for you, do you think? And do you expect the court conditions to be replicated out here or just down the road, of course? I don't expect the conditions to be replicated. Actually, we could see that there's uh, very little wind uh, and no sun in the middle of the day, which is completely different to Key Biscayne, which is very windy and very sunny. Uh, but, you know, I, I personally like things... Uh, uh, to be this way, you know, indoor-like facility. Um, it suits my game and, uh, you know, hopefully I can start off the tournament well, get myself going and, and see how, how far I get.